On Long Island, students and faculty at Dowling College are scrambling tonight after learning the school is shutting down this week. The decision follows years of trying to save the campus. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports on an uncertain future for the students. Anxious students stood in lines that snaked for hours, waiting for transcripts, worried about their futures. I'm not trying to spend my whole day here to get my transcript. Like, I have two months to find another college. Dowling College struggling for years, but students are still stunned with news doors will close this Friday. A uh, big headache. Hopefully, I could finish up in another semester since I only had one left, but I'm not sure what credits will and will not transfer yet. Long Island's first four year college, founded nearly 50 years ago in Oakdale, was steeped in debt, its bonds junk rated, plagued with plunging enrollment. A last ditch effort to find an academic partner to stay afloat fell through. Its popular Aviation school, not enough to pull it through. Not going to find another school like this, so I'm very sad to go, and I really don't want to go, but uh, I don't really have a choice. Administrators called the decision to throw in the towel painful. We want the student body, faculty, and alumni to know we made every effort to form a suitable academic affiliation so that we could keep the college open. But 2,400 students now worry it's too late to enroll elsewhere for summer classes and the fall and about precious scholarships. The colleges I want to go to either had like a team already and can't give out scholarship money. And living arrangements. Since schools are already taking applicants, I don't know if I'm going to have space to dorm, so that could be a problem for me. Offers are pouring in from other Long Island institutions, Malloy, Farmingdale, Hofstra. They're extending admissions deadlines for Dowling students. Here at Suffolk Community College, they formed a transition team. Dowling officials blame unprecedented financial challenges they say facing countless private institutions across the nation. In Suffolk County, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. Among the many questions still unanswered is whether students who paid tuition up front next year will get their money back.